Okay guys, now we're gonna talk about the black ball spot and potting angles. Okay, so you told me what kind of issue you had uh, before our session. Okay, um, um, very often I miss uh, from the point, black from the point. Where exactly you miss the black? Uh, I don't know what Thick? Said, but Thick? Yes, it looks like, like but it depends on which side um, because I noticed for the right hand players right eye dominant players they usually miss that shot for thick because if, he, if they stand too much to the left side yeah. so, sorry for, for the right 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 so I should stand uh, okay side. let's do that just do your normal way mm -hmm. okay and I will show audience uh, where he stands with his feet and also after that we're gonna make a correction and will make uh, standing more to his level uh, to the left that means more to the right out dominant eye okay so this is his position when he was standing on his right part of the table okay okay so change just a little bit how you stand more to the left more through your right eye and right yeah. foot, okay? So, this time, it's a strange feeling. Yeah. now he stands directly on his right eye. Okay, he is, as you can see, he's clear right eye dominant. And now, he put it thin, and this is good. Now, just correct a little bit yourself and just be slightly more smoother. Okay, so his right feet, foot, is on the aiming line and now he put it without any side spin without any issue so you feel perhaps that you feel more natural or in this way it's a strange feeling it looks like i'm definitely standing yeah this is like a simple side right method how to achieve a potting angles recognizing much easier play again Okay, now you wear too much to the left. So some some fun find something in between. Okay, I will get again we'll show you the shot approach. Okay. So, okay, so his right foot is directly on his aiming line, his eyes on the line, and now it should be good. Dead center, no issues. And guys, if you you can do both sides. Usually, if if uh, Solis play with his old way from that side, he played too thin because, you know, from that side, if you are standing more to the right for the right eye dominant player, then you miss too thin. Opposite for the left hand. Again. Okay, too much. Uh, standing to the left, so don't try to compensate too much. Just stand, just you stand like normally you do, but just slightly, maybe two centimeters to the left, and don't try to do a big change step by step because the details details are important. Now it's gonna be good. Perfect. You see? Let's do other side. Okay. Position for the red. His cue and foot is directly on his. Okay, too thick right now. Not as not. not, bad, not, not stay still, please. Stay still. And like a child, no feathers, just pot. Okay, maybe not enough backspin this time, but just try to play with more backspin, okay? Three quarters feathers, three quarters backspin, I mean, sorry. Okay. Okay, okay so step by step, you will calibrate yourself and uh, be much more efficient.
put Q first, body second. Okay, you saw that probably you didn't approach the shot. Again. Too quick, too quick. We have to do a little bit more work. Again, no feathers, just put. And guys, this is not easy, but it's a very effective way to, to work on your game. This shot was brilliant. Okay, so what is the feedback? Uh, definitely, there is a big difference. Uh, really, it depends. I couldn't believe it, but it depends on uh, how you how you approach the shot. Uh, I do more on that a little bit on my right eye and uh, yeah. I will remind you that Solis is a right eye dominant, right hand player, and he needs to stand a little bit more to the left. So you could see the ball much more efficient because this is a very common problem that people are missing to fix or to thin. So that's about it. Until next episode.